here we go again another allegation this time they're coming after swifty all right at first it was angry joe then some other dude named josh got thrown into the mix of some streamer group they came after bieber right and now they're coming for swifty all right so we got swifty out here talking about i'm innocent i'm innocent i swear all right Ah, oh, and fucking twitter of course is just a right my favorite is when when he says to my knowledge i have never reacted or behaved in that way and of course the reply is that's the most telling line in your statement you either know what you did or you're just trying to make excuses for any evidence that's out there and i'm just like what evidence man it's all accusations right is accusations evidence now <laughs> and of course swifty's statement is a very uh, cookie cutter you know this is what the lawyer instead of him just being coming out here and being like i never did anything anybody any else got further questions it's just kind of like lawyer speak and of course people get triggered uh when they come out here and of course man to his knowledge he's like i'm not i don't think i've ever done anything but i never know how someone's gonna feel i mean shit i cannot tell you how many times I'm a fucking nurse. I can't tell you how many times I'm at work and some random female comes up and she's sitting there rubbing my back and rubbing my shoulders, talking about, oh, you look like you've been working out, right? I, don't, I can't tell you how many times that shit happens. Fucking living right here in NYC, I can't tell you how many times you go out to a club and chicks grabbing your ass, pulling on your jacket, feeling up your arms, trying to hit you up, just throwing it at you, just straight throwing it at you, right? And if you're not a dude that that happens to, and you're just somebody like Asmo Gold, King of the Simps, who's out here with his pitchfork, getting all the getting all the simps together, talking about we need to support the woman, right? The listen and believe sort of culture that we have today. If you're not a dude that they ain't throwing it at, and you you imagine that all these women around here and they're just a sweet little angels, right? They're just sweet little angels. The women that they, they women don't do that. Women aren't here throwing it at you, right? And you got fucking poor Swifty out here who's just like sitting there as like one of the one of the nicest one of the nicest streamers you'll come across. And they're just like, he made me feel some type of way when he rejected me. When I was out there when I was there in his DMs trying to hit up hit him up, talking about I wanna I wanna be a streamer too. What can you do for me? Talk about, I'm going to throw it at you, right? Uh, you know, I feel for you in some type of way. And you get a lot of females that do that. It's just, especially, like I said, like I said in my previous video, if you are a dude who is on his grind and you are making some sort of a headway, the stream of women that will come looking for you does not end. Like I said, women are not there working alongside you. They're not there trying to build with you. Not today. Not today. No, no, they are not doing that today. Maybe that was back in my granddaddy's day, right? Maybe back with my grandpappy or grandma. They were, they, were, they were building it up together, right, back in Puerto Rico. Not today. Today, they're at the finish line waiting for whoever's the winner. And they're out there throwing it at you. And for a lot of men that don't understand the red pill concept, that's why, that's why the red pill is so predominant on YouTube. We have a lot of different men talking about the way women are because there are a lot of men that are very much unaware most men are blue pill simping after women where it's all the listen and belief it was funny too because you got asmo gold that was out there as soon as it was like those dudes from uh whatever that streamer group was and angry joe was getting called out and jester bieber and he was out there with a little pitchfork and then swifty he was like oh shit they coming for us over here us wow streamers i better shut the fuck up before someone accuses me he's like oh wait i already got a thought I already got my thought. I can always say I was with her, right? And that's, that's the sad part is you got a lot of men out here that the moment you get called out, they're right there waiting for your downfall. They're right there waiting for you. It don't matter if you're guilty or not. There's, I don't know how many people that are up here that are just like, you're guilty. You know what? You're coming out here with these fake receipts, right? Right? That rebuttal was pretty weak, right? You got people coming out here. And the sad part is that it's all of your fellow men who should be like brothers towards you. And instead, they're just out here waiting for your downfall they're hoping that if they're nice to the woman that maybe they'll come over here maybe they'll touch my pee pee too right but it just doesn't happen it just doesn't happen that's the sad part you got a lot of guys out here simping for a lot of these streamers i mean shit you ever look at twitch you ever look at twitch and see how many of these females they're shaking their ass titties all hanging out nobody say nothing twitch is just like 
I don't know what you're talking about. We respect women here at Twitch, and they would never do anything like that. And meanwhile, they're like twerking on stream, right? They're sitting there with beer bottles, pretending that they're fucking dildos, while they're just out there sitting there with their titties out, talking about. And and, and then the video game is like that small in the background, but they a streamer, and that's their, and that's all their content. How many, I, I was came across this other chick stream the other day, and it was like squats, squats for subs, like every five every five subs i'll do squats uh jumping jacks jumping jacks for for three subs who wants to be who wants to be my stream daddy today and then if you're a man and you speak about you speak against this twitch bans you i mean look look what happened to look what happened to um it's a gundam right it's a gundam got it's a gundam got banned from temporarily banned from twitter from twitch because he was calling out or talking about some other female streamer that's doing the exact same thing. And the dudes out here that just like, can I have some attention, please? Uh, here's, a, here's a donation. Can you can you say my name? Can I please have some sort of female attention? I don't get any IRL. This is the next best thing. Here's my rent money. And it's very, it's very, it's very sad that, uh, that this is the day and age that we live in. And you even got, you even got people like, uh, what's his name? Uh... Oh my God! Summit, Summit coming out here saying, you know, the dude's innocent until proven guilty, and they just out here like with their pitchforks, like we gonna we gonna slash hashtag cancel Summit next. Summit's next. Summit, Summit made me feel some type of way. He groped me. He touched me. He did something. It's so silly that people are out here. The worst part is that it's men. Like men are typically the more rational, the one who's like uses their brain a little more, and not so much how they feel. And you got guys out here that are just going hard against people. And this is like, is there any proof? Is there any proof that this is fake? I mean, this person says, wow, that's really sad. He says, I understand uh, that you like to think that he is a great person, but only 30% of accusations are fake. So 70% he did it, 30% it's false. That's right, 30%. I mean, even if it was those odds, like it's crazy that it would even be that high. It's crazy that it would even be that high that thirty per you are thirty percent likely to be innocent, and these dudes out here ready to lynch you up. The sad part is if you actually do any sort of research, especially because of what's going on with the BLM movement, and you get know, a lot of black people that are coming out talking about systemic racism. If you actually look back in the nineteen twenties in Tulsa, Oklahoma, this is the exact same thing that happened. You had a black guy being falsely accused of raping a woman in broad daylight in an elevator and they lynched him and they killed all the black men in that entire town. You had all these white men get all riled up because don't touch my white women, right? A black man touched my white woman and they're going to come out here with their pitchforks. It's the same shit. But instead of coming coming at you and banging on your door for real, they're coming at you. On social media they're coming for your livelihood they're coming for your name they're coming for whatever money you got and i can i read a lot of these posts and you see a lot of the females that are in there that i'll be like cosair we're no longer supporting so and so and you'll see all the female streamers talk about i ain't raped nobody why don't you come throw some support my way right and that's exactly what they're looking for they see all the men that are out there that are on their grind they see that a lot of them get supported by these different companies because a lot of people watch them and they just Trying to chomp you right out. They're just trying to chomp you right out so that they can come in right up, right on, right from behind you and be like, hey, you need to support the women. We're not out here. We're not out here raping anybody. Why don't you come throw some, throw some support our way, right? And meanwhile, the accusations get proven false and you never get your, you never get your sponsorship back. Your name is thrown to the wayside and these people don't give a shit. That's why most, that's why more men have to be out here in support of one another. Because it's, it's, it's so easy to get falsely accused. It's so easy to get falsely accused out here. And people will throw you under the bus. You can lose your job. You can lose your friends. You can lose your livelihood. You can lose the name that you've built up all these years. And you'll get persecuted on social media. And it don't matter what skin color you are. Because it happened to some young black man. I think it was about a year ago. It was, on, it was all over the media. Where some white girl accused him falsely of rape he lost his scholarship and then a couple of years later she's like oh my bad i'm sorry you know i accuse you falsely of rape and i know you know this that and the third and you you lost your scholarship you couldn't get an education but my bad and that dude's life is ruined 
It's fucking crazy out here, man.